Hey guys, so today I wanted to do another tutorial video for you using the InStyler. Um, for those of you who haven't heard of the InStyler, it's a multi-hair tool. So you have a straightener, curler and hot brush in one. Um, I wanted to show you today how to sort of achieve like a more fuller, wavier look. Um, this one is quite popular and it's actually quite similar to how I have my hair naturally. Uh, so I've sort of straightened it out and then I wanted to show you how to achieve this look. Um, for people who have straighter hair than mine. Um, this is a look that quite often when I have my hair how it normally is, like naturally, a lot of people will ask me how they can get their hair like mine, which is quite hard because when I say actually my hair's like this naturally, that's not really a very good answer, is it? So I now have the answer for you. So we're going to use the InStyler, which looks like this. Um, so you can see here we have a cylinder here. Now this bit heats up and turns, rotates I should say, and this is what will put the curl into the hair. Then we have this side here which is a brush and that just detangles and smooths everything down and between the two of them they create the style and set everything in place. Now for those of you who don't know, I work with Bid TV as a beauty expert and I have been representing the InStyler recently so that is how I have this. Um, opinions are completely my own, I haven't been asked to do this by them, this is purely my choice and I wanted to do it because um, I have fallen in love with this product. I cannot sing its praises highly enough. I feel like it's a bit of a miracle. And any of you that will watch my videos or read my blog or have met me will know that my hair is quite wild naturally. So having something that can tame it in a short amount of time it's a must have for me. So this one definitely is something that I think is worth a try. So this is gonna be a tutorial for anybody who just wants to see how you could achieve, you know, a nice wavy, bouncy hair. Um, and also for anybody who's thinking of getting an InStyler or trying it out or haven't, you know, quite worked out whether they would want something like that. Um, and also for any bid viewers who have purchased the InStyler, this might be a good tutorial for you to just take a look at. So let's crack on. What I'm going to do is just literally put some waves through the bottom of my hair. Now, if I'm looking slightly over here, it's because my mirror is just behind the camera. So, um, don't think I'm being odd. All you do is take smaller sections. Now, with this, you can either be really um, precise and sort of like, you know, pin bits of your hair up, which I'll start off doing. But what you can normally do, if you just want to place the curls quite randomly, then just pick up sections of the hair and just put the curl in wherever you want to. There's no kind of, you know, hard and fast rule with this, which is really good because, you know, sometimes we don't have time to t spend loads of time on our hair. Now, the InStyler comes with a styling comb, so it's got this end here and it also has this end here, which you can separate your um, layers with. And you're just gonna comb through, get rid of any sort of knots. Then, you should be able to see here, we have three heat settings. So because I have coarser hair and thicker hair, I'm gonna go with the highest heat setting. So you just, when you turn it on, it will go straight to the highest setting. If you want to lower it down, click it and you'll see the lights come down. This will flash until it's ready. And then once it's stopped flashing, that means it's at optimum heat. So because we're curling today, we want the cylinder to be on top and the brush to be underneath. So all you're gonna do is clamp it into place. Now when this clamps in, if you haven't seen any of the other ones, it makes a noise because it's rotating. So hopefully you'll still hear me. So clamp it into place and then you'll flip that over and just rotate ever so slightly and just continue to pull the, the installer down the hair. And then you should be left with what you can see. It's sort of like a, just a wavy, sort of look here towards the bottom so then if you continue to do that on now you can um i can show you as well how to do sort of tighter curls but this look that i'm showing you today is um just to give you sort of that waviness at the bottom of the hair so again clamp in flip over rotate round and just continue in a smooth continuous movement and there you'll end up with sort of these just flicked out sort of bits there now all you do is just do this throughout your layers so it's quite easy you don't have to spend loads of time doing it and you don't have to be too precise with them either that's a really nice thing so you just keep working them around and you know again if you do thicker sections you're going to have thicker curls as you can see wrong way around there <laughs> so flick down and just pull through 
and then all you do is keep doing that throughout the layers of the hair. So there you can see that was super easy, really, really quick to be able to get sort of like a nice bouncy kind of curls. I'll stand up coming a bit closer for you to see. It's so easy to achieve this. Literally, that's gone from straightening to this. So if you did this without straightening the hair first, the curls would be even bouncier. So this would work on anybody who's got sort of, I'd say sort of mid-length hair or downwards really. Um, the only thing I would say is with any kind of curling, if you have really heavy hair, sometimes the curls won't hold, but I do have a solution for that, which I shall show you in another video. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this and it just gives you an idea of how to use your InStyler to create sort of this bouncy look. Um, this is really nice, especially for the summer, if you're going to a wedding, you know just or just general day to day just looks like you've put in a lot of effort but you've met, spent minimal time on it so um always a good trick i feel in our little beauty world here so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i shall see you very soon bye